So here we go. Next on our intro to Amazon Seller Central console, the drop down menus, we're going to go to the brands tab. You do have to have a trademark brand registry with Amazon to have this tab available and um, we'll get right into it. First, you'll have your brand analytics tab. You can go ahead and click that and that'll take you to the brand analytics uh, page here. And this has a couple different um, options here. There's a full detailed video on this. Uh, right now we're just doing an overview of all the drop downs and how to navigate the Seller Central. Um, you'll see your Amazon search terms report, purchase behavior, repeat purchase behavior report, demographics, that sort of thing. And most importantly, recently you can see your uh, search analytics and your market ICAP funnel. There's a whole detailed video on that that is included here in the course as well. Next on the brand's drop down menu, we'll have manage experiments. And this is where you would see any A-B testing you're doing on main image, title, A plus content, and uh, it would take you to your experiments essentially. Right now there's a active experiment on this particular ASIN and we would, well, it's not active anymore, it's completed. You would view your details here and see which version won out if this was a, uh, a main image. And what that does is uh, half the time it will show one image as a main image, half the time it show another, they might be slightly different. We're trying to see you know, which one performed better essentially. Next on the brand uh, drop down here, you have your brand dashboard. And this is gonna show you all of the brands that you um, have and as well as view your registered brands, your support cases, take you to your link and brand registry, which is you know a separate brand registry and Amazon Seller Central are separate, they work together. And also uh, you can manage your brand notifications here. You can see all of your, again, brand health. This is the third time we've seen this um, uh, in, in different menus here. And again, all your brand benefits. Uh, next, we'll see on the brands uh, tab here, we have got customer reviews. Now, this is uh, where you can see your most recent reviews on um, your, your products here. You can sort by brand, you can uh, go to star rating, sort by time period, all that, and it will show you the product reviews uh, here. Next on the brands tab, you have your customer engagement. And this is where you can create customer engagement campaigns. Um, there's a full detailed video on how to do that and why it's important. And we'll include that as well here. There's even a Amazon training video on this. Uh, I actually haven't watched it, but ours is probably better. And um, yeah, <laughs> but these are your uh, customer engagement campaigns. Next on the brands tab, you have virtual bundles. Uh, there's a full detailed video on this on how to create virtual bundles, which are essentially if you have one product in FBA and another product in FBA, and you don't want to physically bundle them together and send that bundle to Amazon, you can virtual bundle those two products as a new ASIN so that people can buy them both together at the same time. Next on the brands tab is your brand referral bonus. And this is if you would like to um, create referral tags to bring traffic outside from outside into Amazon. And these would be um, a tags for Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, their link. And uh, if you bring traffic to Amazon from an outside ad campaign or your website, what have you, TikTok, uh, they, will, they will incentivize you uh, and give you a payment uh, for, for sales. So selling your own product and also getting a kickback from Amazon for bringing that outside traffic in. And that's where you'd uh, look here uh, if that was enabled. And there's a, there's a detailed video on how to create these as well. <laughs> Next, uh, we're gonna be going into the help and uh, then settings, and then we will be uh, all finished here. Thanks.